Hey everybody, it's Karen from Art of Our Acrylics. Welcome to Late Night Pouring. I was listening for uh, mumbling from the uh, peanut gallery in the living room. Uh, went up to visit my friend Jen Neal. Spent a day and a half painting with her. It was a lot of fun. Um, let me show you a couple things we were working on. She's probably going to be the one that posts all the videos because I wasn't filming. Uh, but we were working on blooms. So we have this guy who's awesome. And then I did a trio in greens. We're going to be painting in greens tonight. Not a bloom though. We're doing our, uh, our black and white plus three. That guy with the white cell activator. And then these two. She was teaching me how to use pigments. And oh my gosh, um, my stupid light's gonna get in the way. They're super blingy. That one and that one. I'm gonna keep one and sell the other two. So, they'll be up in my shop. And then I did my first resin piece. It came out pretty good for my very first time, which is this one here. It's just, you know, waves. And this is like my sandbar. And then the break in the horizon and then some wispy clouds and it doesn't show up. Maybe you can see a little bit of the sparkle. It was so much fun. So there's that guy. I'm keeping it. You got to keep your first piece. That's like a rule. And then I wanted to show you the results from the last video where we did the uh, blues and silvers. It's this one here. It dried really, really great. I think once I put a coat of varnish, the colors will pop up. Um, Again, uh, it's, let me go this way. It's pretty nice. My favorite thing is, which side is it for? It's on all sides. But some of the sides kept like actual the cells because the paint mixture was so thick that it kept cells on the side, which is really, that made me smile. Like, look at that. That's cool. And on the edge here, right there, coming off the edge because the, uh, yeah, my mix was thick. So there's that guy. I'll varnish him and put him up for sale too. Let me get you down. We're just gonna do a quick uh, 11 by 14 this evening. So this is, uh, well yeah, 11 by 14. It's a Windsor Newton uh, gallery canvas. So it's really, it's got the inch and a half thick sides and uh, colors for this black and white endeavor are, you know, the Artist Law Flow acrylic. We got our black and white. Um, per request from somebody who wanted some greens. And I really wanted to put a deep, deep, like rust red color in with this and I didn't have any. So I had to like improvise. So here we have some Amsterdam permanent green deep. And then we needed something bright and happy. So we're using turquoise green here and I didn't want to go with gold, so I went with Amsterdam bronze. So three Amsterdams and two uh, flow acrylics. And I know I've been talking the last two videos, I think the first video of this series, I used Oatrol, and I got cells right out of the flip cup. And then I switched to American Floatrol, same deal. And my, my consistency was rather thick on both of those pores. So I know it wasn't that. And I'll show you my consistency in a sec. Um, but you add Floetrol with some silicone and it's Cell City. There's, this is a little too thick. Hold on, I need a dollop of water. See my black. Uh, it's Cell City. So tonight, no Floetrol in my pouring medium. My pouring medium recipe is eight ounces of Elmer's Glue Wall, six ounces of Liquitex pouring medium, and four ounces of water. So instead of 4, 8, 12, it's uh, four, six, wait, <laughs> eight, six, and four. Yes, eight, six, four tonight. That's still too thick. I am a little bit concerned because my glue, when I was just pouring my glue into my quart, it seemed very kind of grainy. I don't know if it's getting old or what, but my pouring medium, before I even added it to the colors, 
I had to stir the hell out of it. Like it just seemed grainy and it still feels that way a little bit um, despite all my stirring for the last half an hour. Uh, that's why I'm standing here doing it one last time. I don't know, it seems a little better. We'll see what happens. So, consistency, let's use this. Again, on the thick side. So I do this and I get a mound and I wait and it takes a good second and a half for that to disappear. That's my pre preference right there. So we're leaving it a little bit on the thick side like the last two. And we're gonna add probably three drops of my spot on treadmill silicone to these colors. I'm just doing two in that one. That was like two and a half in that one. We'll do one out, three in the green, three in the black, nothing in the white. Give these a quick stir and we'll get to layering. And we'll see um, when we flip it over if we get immediate cells or can I lift the cup up and get a puddle without any cells. Now, I, I get the biggest kick out of your comments because a bunch of you were like, well, of course you got cells, you goober. <laughs> you put in silicone. You didn't say it like that. You guys were much nicer about it. But I was like, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, I know I added silicone, but that's not why I got the explosion. The, the combination of the Floetrol in the Oatrol with the silicone causes the explosion. You could do a painting, I hopefully, <laughs> I could demonstrate right now, <clears throat> excuse me, where you can put the silicone in a pouring medium and get a puddle and you be the boss of the paint and you tell it what to do. So that's the goal tonight. So as usual, <clears throat> I'm gonna start off with my white. Just a tad. And let me think about my order. We'll do that, we'll change it up as we go. We'll do the turquoise green. We'll do lots of little layers. And then the bronze. <clears throat> like the bronze and the green. And the black. And before I do white, let's mix up the order. This will make a, a darker blue color, so I want some of that on the black. And then we'll do white. And then we'll get a lighter green going too. And bronze. I'm worried about my deep size, size, my deep sides. Um, but I'll have enough paint to make a quick little, another cup if I have to, if I really have to. I hope I don't have to, but I'm gonna make this fairly full. Try to get at least three and a half layers in. Let's make a let's make a dark green this time. And let's put the green and two greens together. And bronze. And we'll do black and white at the top. Like that. That'll do it. 
I have just enough for like maybe um, if I add all these together, I could probably get three quarters of a cup of something if I need it. So we'll just put it on standby for now and uh, give this a flip. Let's do this because this is really full. Mine free. Yeah, looking good. It looks weird that way. I'm not used to that way. Let me turn it. I could probably turn it and get you guys down a little bit too. Let's put these over here. under there. All right. So, um, I had not mentioned it in like a month because I was afraid it, it was going to get canceled and it did but the pouring conference um, that was in Seattle Washington starting on April 2nd got canceled did I mention that last video I can't remember um, along with you know just about everything else in the world so stay safe out there just buy what you need so I hope it gets rescheduled. She can go. I was looking forward forward to meeting a lot of you. Um, people who have written to me that I knew were going. So what are you gonna do? Alright, we ready? We're ready for this? Don't make a liar out of me. Don't make a liar out of me. Here we go. Uh, hold on. I need to just grab my torch. I forgot my torch. All right, ready? Oh my gosh. Look at that. The pouring, the pouring meeting, you all. What the hell? I wonder, I wonder if I got a bad container of glue. That's awful. That is really awful. Let me get you guys down on this. As you can see, like I said, remember I said when I was stirring it, like it just felt grainy, like weird. Look at it. Hold on. Doesn't it look weird? I don't know. I'm gonna torch it, like I said, look though, I poured myself a big old puddle. I have one, two, like four cells, that's it. But basically no cells, no cells pop up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep rolling with this. This is likely going to get scraped and I'll do I'll do an extra black and white series one since this one, um, I'm gonna have to look at that. Why won't this tighten up? There we go. There's something off with the glue for sure. I've never seen it do that before. Let me just, uh, I'm looking at it in the cup. It's like it has fine, the finest of sand. And it wasn't the paint, it's actually, it's the actual glue. And I don't know if that's gonna show up. Like sometimes I see it and sometimes I don't. It's the craziest, craziest thing. I don't know. Let me tilt a little bit. That's a pretty big puddle though. I don't have to go much. I didn't put anything on my corners. I might as well, I might as well finish this off and I'll throw it up um, so you guys can at least see maybe what a bad batch of glue looks like. 
And then um, I have company in town tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. So maybe on Sunday I'll redo this same pour with the same colors. That's what I'll do. So we'll have a mulligan for this color scheme. Popping some bubbles. And now let me be the boss of where I want the cells to go. Yeah. Yeah, baby. So maybe in here. I don't know. The whole thing looks just icky. Let me turn down my torch a little. Some in there. Some over there. I got some in there popping bubbles. Ooh, some pretty green ones in the black. Let's get some more copper ones going on. There we go. That's plenty. Stretch those all out. Nice cells where I wanted them to be. I got to be the boss. I'm kind of bummed out because like, I like my pattern. I like the combination of colors. Let's see what happens. It looks like oatmeal. It really does. In front of me, it looks like oatmeal. Let me go. Well, I'm just gonna do this corner because it's right here and it's already touching. So let me go over here. Maybe when I stretch it out, it'll be okay. I don't know. I'm gonna come over to this other corner and just go for it. Really pretty color combo. Maybe it'll work out. I'm feeling all optimistic all of a sudden. I like what I have so far. It still has an oatmeal background. The weirdest thing ever. Really, really weird. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to keep. I was trying to save just so. So I like to talk about what I'm doing, where I'm going. So I was trying to save this line right here. I don't think I'm going to get there because i still got a ways to that corner. But maybe save. Ah, there it goes. I knew it was going to go off. All right, bring the paint back to the middle. Oh, I've got to keep my fingers off the sides. I forgot about the deep sides. And then wiggle my way. This is actually turning out, despite the weird oatmeal thing. Take some of those off. Straighten everything out. My favorite thing is I have this one lone bright, bright. Let me wipe off my fingers so I don't splooge in the middle of it. This one really bright copper cell right smack in the middle, like a little guy saying, look at me. Um, let me stare at it a second, see if I think it's too, too busy. I am going to grab my spoon, my favorite spoon, and do my edges while I ponder if this is too busy right here or not. Grab that. Dishwasher, of course. Finish off my sides. If this would have been wood, I would have taped my sides for a lip. But I think I pretty much got them all. So what do you think? Is this too busy right here? A part of me thinks it is, but I do have separation. And I like that it has the dark there and I think if I pour it off and everything is like this it'll be um, like a little bit too monochromatic yeah what do you think that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna check the other side uh, got one more spot I'm done guys Ta -da! I actually uh, 
I really kind of like this. I like the color combo. I'm glad uh, my uh, theory with the um, the cells, where I got the boss of cells and I didn't get any cells out of the cup, holds true. It's only with the Floetrol. Um, this is quite pretty, quite lovely. Yeah. I, I'm going to watch it carefully and try to dry it slowly. Um, where there are what little background there is when you come down, you'll see here where it still looks like, well, this definitely just looks like oatmeal in between. So, yeah, look at the pretty cells and everything, but, like, check out the background, how screwed up it is. Now, it kind of adds to it for some reason, like it works in this painting. Um, and at, off camera, I'm gonna stand here probably and stir, stir this for another 20 minutes and see if what I see, or take a look at my bottle of glue all and see if it has an expiration date or anything on it. I did open a brand new one, so really weird. Anyway, let me get you down a little bit closer. So you can see, let me loosen everything here. And this is this guy. So yeah, so here's the part up here with the darker cells. I do think that adds visual interest right there. There's my little tiny guy in the middle. And see what I mean? Like here, doesn't that look weird? I don't know what to make of it. There's the other side. Um, the flip and lip helped a lot because it gave it a little bit of a composition uh, and made little pathways. So I always enjoy that. Let me come up, hold it still. And that's what she looks like. It's pretty cool. Where am I? There I am. I'm just, um, just totally baffled by by the pouring medium tonight I'll have to uh, figure that out if you have any thoughts or if you if that's ever happened to you please let me know in the comments um, I'd love to hear some theories anyway that's it looking for color combinations I think I won't have to do another one right this one turned out well enough that we can move on to video number four so I usually save metallics for video number five so let me know what you, what color scheme you'd like to see for video number four. I'll still go back and look at other suggestions too and pick something, but I have to have all the colors. All right, guys, uh, thanks for the love and support. Um, a couple shout outs real quick to Stacy for sending me a care package of the tea and then and the little statue and the paint. That was very sweet and unexpected. You're awesome. Um, and to those who have um, donated to my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. Highly appreciated keeping me in paint. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.